So this is a simple tutorial to go from Vox Edit to GLTF through Blender. And it's basically because how Vox Edit manages UV maps and textures. So the first step is to export it as an OBJ and load it into Blender. And the first thing you'll notice, it looks completely messed up. So in order to fix that, we go to shading Look for the texture node and change linear to closest. And that looks a lot better. The second thing you want to do is go to edit mode, select wave verities, and I'm going to select them all with A, then merge by distance. It's going to get rid of a lot of unnecessary geometry. So now we go back to shading. We're going to create a new map, in this case, an ambient occlusion map. We're going to create a new image texture. We're going to call it AO or whatever you want. We're going to select the model. We're going to enter your renderer, select cycles, and GPU if you have one. Down here, you'll go to bake, select ambient occlusion, select your node, very important, or else you're going to save on top of this one. So you go AO. Bake it. We're going to plug it and straight off the bat, it's not going to work. It's going to look super messed up. Got this weird shade going on. We have all these weird artifacts and it's just not working. So, what's going on? Basically, we need to make a new texture with a new UV map. So, you go back into UV v editing. This is very important too. You go to data, UV maps. And create a new one. Name it AO or whatever you want. And we're going to press U, Smart UV, click OK. Now it has basically unwrapped the texture the way it should be. So, one little extra step if you're dealing with low res textures or just a general good tip is select all the faces here, go to UV to snap and snap to pixels and now your uv faces or edges are perfectly aligned with the pixel grid click save save it as an ao map try that one again go back to shading again select the ao bake and now we're going to plug it in and it still looks a little messed up and the reason is we need to plug in a UV map node into your texture node and select the map we created before. And now that looks a lot better. So from here on to a GLTF, there's a couple of extra ways. A couple of ways you can do it. You can first create a mixed color node. We'll start to plug in the B and change from mix to multiply <clears throat> and we can create a new map we call it whatever you want in this case we'll call it diffuse plus al i'm going to select it we'll go to bake change from ambient occlusion to combined click bake now there's just one extra little step we need to go before it's perfect because this time around it's going to be very dark i need to plug in the uv here as well and an easy fix for that is going to world and change this color to pure white go back to object lock this back in select your node bake Now we plug it in, it should look a lot better. The second way is to create a node, any node, whatever, and then go Control G for group, delete this, and press N, or click on this little arrow right here. 
and delete everything in there. And create a new input and call it occlusion. Capital O, double C, symbol S. Press tab. And go into this little node group and rename it to GLTF. We can plug our original and the occlusion map into here. Even though it's not going to look like it in Blender, when we export it into a GLTF, it's going to pull that setting in and render it correctly. So, and it should be loading the ambient occlusion map just for comparison sakes. Take this off. So you can see the ambient occlusion is working. It's a little pixelated, but it's it's okay. We just render it very quickly. But it's there. It's working. On the other side, you can just plug your combined. Export it as a GLTF. And it should have the map already there. So a couple of things you can tell this is looking a little messed up. So back in Blender, why is that happening? It's basically because even though we've rendered the image, the AO map here, it might not be saved. So remember to go into texture painting, select your AO, go into image and save it. And now, if we plug this in, and we select our combined and render it, it should work. So here we export this combined. We select our combined, and there you go. So for the next video, we'll, we'll see how to fix these jagged edges that look really, really awful. They just don't look clean. And it's again, just how the export from box edit comes into Blender and into GLTF because it's creating all these different geometries, basically. Go into edit mode, we'll see all these different faces, um, but that's a whole nother video in itself. So there you go. Thanks for watching.